Finally, I only mention this because I know that we have viewers in France. Uh, we, we, ta we told you uh, yesterday that thanks to a donation of over a quarter million euros by Google, uh, the next edition of Charlie Hebdo will have a circulation of at least one million. Uh, I don't believe that there are any places in LA where you can actually purchase a copy of it, although there is a possibility of that. So perhaps we could link up with a, uh, a French citizen who might be able to send the Young Turks a copy and, of that. And you can kill people. Let me just remind these murderers. You can kill people. You can't kill an idea. And that's what they're trying to do. And there's no amount of killing that's going to insulate you from being offended. You're always going to be offended right. for the rest of your life. That's always going to happen. There's no guarantee against me. By the way, another thing people forget is that part of free speech is you could also ignore people's yeah. speech. That's all Don't part of the it, magazine. too. Don't pick up Charlie Hebdo. Don't look at it. If somebody says something that's offensive to you, don't listen to but, them. But they don't care about that. Like, yes, of course, you're making a logical argument, but right. they don't give a shit about your logical argument. Right. But yeah. yes, everything you said. I wasn't true. entirely sure there were still cartoonists. What do you mean? In the world. <laughs> like, well, at the very least, there's a New York Times political cartoonist. You know, there's still, um, it seems very 1920s. Yeah. No, no, they're really important. I, I, political cartoons are the best thing, you know, because there's no comeback. From them, you know, if you draw mm. Mitch McConnell to look like a turtle, he can't come back. I don't really look like a turtle. <laughs> you can, there's no coming back, right? Yeah. So that's the beauty of those kind of satirical <laughs> cartoons. And I, I, what can I just ask? Yeah. What what is it about those cartoons that you? Um, I don't think they're funny at all. Well, they're French, of course they're not funny. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, and I think that in the same way that sort of the cartoons that right wingers send about Obama that they think are hilarious with the big lips and the you big You think ears, that's what this was? Some of it, like it's not all like if it's just about religious extremism, but the fact is, as we've seen from the 1.7 billion Muslims, like, I got it. And it, these are, we're talking about, you know, look, I'll combine things that you feel strongly about. Okay. The right of satirists to express themselves and the right for maybe the least powerful group of people on the planet to have it rubbed in their face again and again and again. Mm -hmm. And if we're at the same breath going to acknowledge that the overwhelming 99.9 .9 or 8% of Muslims, 99.9% .9 of Muslims aren't terrorists, many of them are also like, hey, man, stop, stop mocking my faith. Stop being comfortable mocking my faith. It's the only faith that we're totally comfortable mocking. But that's, I mean, I, so that's just not true, not though, true. because the, the magazine went after, I mean, Google it right now. No, they now. didn't really. They, they didn't. They did. They absolutely 95% no, of what true. they did is Muslims. No, that's not true. Yes, Every it is. The exact same amount of stuff. I, I can't say that it's the exact same amount. We just did, read it today. We read no, the same yeah. article. They did plenty of stuff about Jews. They did plenty. So maybe it wasn't the exact same. So do we, but is that the world you want to live in where the magazine should all have the same exact percentage no, I, of 33.3% I'm just saying why I don't think it was funny. I don't we want to show no, no, a naked course, Shintoist but, in this episode. Uh, whether it's funny or not is a moot point because you're Knowledge. still allowed to be free, you're still allowed to have freedom yeah. of expression, whether it's funny or not. Well, and by not, the way, no, some one, of them, no one's yeah. arguing about their freedom of expression. By the way, some of, them were, some of them were incredibly clever. You know, there was one of the covers that had uh, a picture of, of, of an ISIS guy, and he was beheading Muhammad. And, he, and Muhammad was saying, I'm not the infidel. I mean, that's pretty clever yeah, and powerful uh, right. stuff. And some so were, it wasn't just And it wasn't some just of it were, were Muhammad getting ass raped. Yeah. yeah, and you know what? They were uh, Jews as octopuses grabbing the whole world. And, that was metaphorical. And, no, you know. Okay. No, and okay. I, I'm just saying, like... There's like, nothing wrong with that. No, I, yeah, there is nothing wrong with it. I wouldn't want to work where that was happening. Why? Yes. In a million He's years. He's speaking about his own personal life because, choices, not Because about I know that of the 1.7 billion people who are mostly getting their fucking ass kicked by their own people, I don't feel like rubbing it in. I don't think it's funny. I don't think it's amusing. I don't think it's clever. I don't think it's anything except you kind of being an asshole. So, you know, I get it. They have a fucking 100% right to do it. And I would have stood in the streets of Paris and held up, I am Charlie Hebdo. I would have, because I get, I probably would have gotten along with a lot of those guys, you know? <laughs> yeah, you um, and them. some of them are clever, and that is, that is yeah. clever, uh, the, the, the ISIS and the cutting Mohammed's head off. Yeah. But some of them weren't. And it just, at some point, like, I get it. I read those well, tweets from regular Muslims who aren't in any way terrorists, and they feel picked on. And I think that's, and I think that's, Worth noting, that's all. Uh, it, it's definitely worth noting. Uh, how, how, but again, it's that whole thing of how does someone drawing a cartoon in, in a newspaper that you're not going to read, how, is that, how does that affect your life? It doesn't. It doesn't. It, sh it shouldn't. But it, but it, so, but you have to seek this shit out to be offended. Yeah. Right. And, but we and know why are you that's offended? a very. But that is a very common human activity. Because the people, people looking for because things people to be of faith about. are people of faith, and the people who aren't of faith, like us. Like, clearly don't quite get that. And I just don't want to get ready to say that all the people of faith are that 
fucking dim and dumb, except for the people who go around if, trying to convince others, except for the proselytizers, except okay. for the right winger people. But the over what I've always believed of Christians, of Muslims, of Jews, that the overwhelming majority, man, like we, when we talk about faith, we act as it's all encompassing. 99% of those people's days have nothing to do with any of this. They're just, obviously, they just want their kids to go to a good school. They want to have a nice fucking meal with their wife. You know, they want to get laid at night and not fucking fight and yes. have a little peace in their lives yes. and get paid an honest wage. Yeah. And basically, mostly, as Dave and I were talking before the show, because of oppressive regimes within their own governments, for generations and generations, there has been no renaissance, no real yeah. education. So we take people who haven't been exposed to nearly what we have, and then we're like, the thing that matters to the most, we're totally comfortable making fun of, that they're the most backwards ones. Because right now, the most extreme people in the news creek yeah. uh, 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 participating and uh, involving themselves in the most hideous acts that we could possibly imagine. Charlie Hebdo, 9-11, yeah, those are Muslim extremists. So Boko I have some simple, so, huh, Boko well, Haram, like the list is, is endless. But of course, by the same token, we'll come right back and remind those right-wingers on Fox that, that whatever that percentage see, is, 98.8% right. of Muslims aren't like that. Uh, I, I, I see it a little bit different. I mean, I, 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 didn't, uh, I, I didn't think about anything that you said, so it's good that we're having this conversation. But I always like the fact that I, I grew up Catholic, I went to Catholic school for 12 years, and I always liked if I could do a joke that would upset the average Catholic. Like, that yeah. would be great to me. Like, I want to make them upset. I don't think, contrary to Bill Donahue, Catholics aren't getting picked on. Yeah, like, it's not tough yeah. for Catholics. They got oh, it made. Okay. They're winning. Oh, okay. You know, know, and been, perhaps, but, it, perhaps if we can help that part of the world to have a political and economic and scientific renaissance, then their views on things like then the, the we sacred can yes. hammer those dumb no. fucks. <laughs> yeah. Yes, but then maybe they won't care as much similar yeah, to us. Yeah, right, right. I think At one point there was a lot of blasphemy and uh, violence towards blasphemy in Christianity as well. Yes. I think so there was, there, there was the Inquisition, was there not? And by the way, there's a lot of Americans who would love to kick the shit out of someone and possibly kill and them if right. they saw them burning a flag. That's yes, today that's in America. Today. So, so we're not immune to that either. So I mean, you we're immune to that. Don't you but. run the risk, Ben? Yes. Of <laughs> Yes, no, no, you're right. Of infantilizing yes. Islam and Muslims in general, saying right. that we can take it, but they're too yes. sensitive. Yes, no question. That's what they I just, can't take that's it. That's what I just did. I did that. So there, it's true. I just... You're Nonetheless, being paternalistic to them. I'm being paternalistic and kind to them. Of, so Condes I'm going to treat them equally and mm -hmm. try to piss off the average rank and file Muslim. I think that's fun. I, I, I think it's fun too. Don't get, <laughs> don't get me wrong. I love to mock a Muslim. Um, okay. we, no. we do have to move on in just a minute. Okay. If you want to yeah, so this just, is a good conversation. Yeah, it is. This, it is. This, yes. we, I want to mock extremism badly. We all do. That's the point. What we've crossed into with Muslims, and partly because we're so, most people in America, sometimes myself included, all of us, we're so dumb and so limited that we can't help it. You end up grouping it all together. And in, in an effort to go after extremism, you, to go after extremists, as you see from Reza Eslan and the guy we were talking about yesterday, they're constantly having to go on TV and go, for the love of God, for the seven billionth time, not everyone. Please, yeah. not everyone. And I just think we should... Hear that a little. It matters. We have reached a point in this country, which is the only country I truly care about or know anything about, where we are, we are getting more and more comfortable and cavalier with making sure that Muslims don't get on planes, that they don't fly, that they don't get jobs, all the crap that makes it tough to be a minority here and right now the most picked on minority in this country. I just, and I hold us to a different standard, and I want us to elevate it a little bit so when their prophet gets mocked like that and they don't take it well, not these guys, not the violent ones, but then I have, I have some degree of sympathy, and that's why I wouldn't have wanted to work there. Okay. 